What's up guys, it's Asian J here. Today I'm going to be doing the unboxing of the Blackberry Mini Stereo Speaker. Uh, this was starting, the starting price was a hundred bucks. Uh, I managed to pick it up before uh, Boxing Day sales for about 37 bucks in Canada. Uh, that's pr honestly, that's a really good deal. It's a, it's a massive savings. So one of the things they gave you in the box is a micro USB. Uh, this would be used for charging. Uh, the they give you a uh, male to male uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. This is for you to co connect from like let's say your auxiliary port in your car or your auxiliary port uh, on the device itself. They gave you some manuals both in English and in French. And then they gave you the Blackberry mini stereo speaker. So to the back of the BlackBerry Mini stereo speaker, what you do have here is a little uh, sticker saying do not open the speaker uh, the, by the hinge more than 5mm, so that's specifically they're referring to this piece right here, and don't open it more than that, otherwise it will snap open. Weight. The weight of the device is 3.5 ounces, or 98 grams. The length of the device is 3.5 inches or 8.91 millimeters. The width of the device is 2.28 inches or 57.9 millimeters. And the height of the device is 1.08 inches or 27.5 millimeters. So let's speak about the internal specs of the device now. It has a battery that is a non-removable, lithium-powered, rechargeable battery. The port is a micro USB port for connections, and you have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. The battery capacity is 1100 milliampere hours. Battery size, it's a pretty big battery. You should get about 16 hours of talk time, 40 days of standby, 2.5 hours of charging time, and 14 hours of streaming time. That's some pretty solid hours to be honest uh, except for the charging time uh, so for the Bluetooth is a single band support it's Bluetooth 3.0 Bluetooth class 2 uh, the actual distance from where you're standing to uh, the point of connection is around 10 meters or 33 feet uh, according to them uh, so to the front of the device what you will see right off the bat it's basically a volume rocker and this volume rocker basically has the ability to have a volume uh, up, volume down, and a mute, pause, play, call button. So you could basically go previous with this one, or you could go to the next, depending on if you're listening to music or if you want to adjust the volume. So to the side of the device, what we do have here, it's a 3.5 millimeter audio out headphone jack. Uh, and next to that, we have a micro USB port. To the back, what we do have here is a BlackBerry logo, and this is basically the bridge or the spine of the actual device where all the support is. Remember, you can't open this more than five millimeters in on the other side what we do have here it's uh, LED that indicates basically whether it's on or off position so this is the off right here that's the on position right there and you have a microphone right there so you're able to use this to make calls in the car so this is going to be how to set up the actual device so first off what you want to do is you want to go find that power button and flick it on it should turn on you should get like a little LED notification or that noise the blue red light indicates that it's ready to peer. So let's go into our BlackBerry device. Remember this works with iPhone, Nexus, Google phones, Androids, uh, iPads as you'll see in the, uh, a, coming, a couple coming videos, okay? So in networks you're gonna scroll all the way down to Bluetooth, you're gonna hit uh, refresh. Make sure your Bluetooth is turned on and you're gonna make yourself discoverable. BlackBerry mini stereo speakers, you're gonna click on it you're going to see peering. You're going to hear that beep for connected, and now you can see it's connected to the smartphone itself. So let's see how this works. So once it's connected, it's going to play like this. It's going to come out the speaker itself, and you can see it's connected. The audio is really crisp. It's almost vibrating the actual device. So I'm going to pause the volume and you can see it, it instantly paused there with like a slight delay but it's like almost 
it's not that much. So then you could adjust the volume if you want, and you could move to the next track if you want. So I'm gonna play it. So the speaker is really, 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 really loud, uh, to be honest. So next what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to see how the voice search or voice search application uh, works with all of this stuff and voice control. So I'm going to hold down the middle button and try to make this happen. Search Google. What would you like to do? Search Google. What do you want to search for? Blueberries. And you can see on a device itself it actually searched for blueberry. Call Michelle. What would you like to do? Call call Michelle. Do you want to call me? Yes. So voice calling works fine on the device. This is the review of it. Basically, if you're getting it for the price that I paid for it, the speaker and the quality of the audio is really crisp. It's really clear. It's not muffled at all, uh, especially when you're playing music. I was actually impressed because you could get a little bass on the music as well. The grills, are, the, the grills has like perforations or holes in it, which makes it really clear for the audio to come through as well. You have two speakers at the bottom of it, two small mini speakers. They work really good. The battery life on this is going to be really epic as well because it's an 1100 milliampere hour battery and this is Bluetooth and it only works when you're connected to it. So what I'm going to be using this for is basically if you get a call in the car, just hit that button right there to answer the call and it should work fine. The drawbacks to this actual device, it's, it's a bit chunky and not sure if this is going to be like updatable, if you could load any software on it to to say, you know, like you could update the device so that way it actually tells your signals that it, the battery is actually low by appearing on your BlackBerry smartphone device. I wish it could have done that. That's a drawback to it as well. These two speakers that you see here, uh, it gives off really crisp and precise audio. I was actually really impressed by the quality of the audio that it actually gives off on the device. The device is actually really stable no matter how you place the device on the table, chair, or if you clip it into your backpack. Uh, I'm actually pretty scared to stretch this a lot. So the main purpose that I'm going to be using this BlackBerry Mini Stereo Speaker accessory for, it's basically to be answering phone calls when you're driving. and. A lot of people should invest if you're going to be answering phone calls when you're driving. Uh, you know, invest in one of these. You definitely save on, like, let's say, tickets and all that stuff. Uh, also, as well, this device supports 128-bit encryption. So, so the range on this was actually pretty impressive when you're using Bluetooth 4.0. I managed to get about 50 to 55 feet uh, of listening to uh, music using the BlackBerry Q10 device. You don't have to worry about the range. The range is going to work absolutely fine. The mic works absolutely fine. The audio that you get across or you send to other users uh, who you're making a phone call with is really clear. The battery life is pretty solid from what I'm seeing so far. Uh, one drawback that I'd have to say, if, if if you're going to leave this in your car, prepare to charge the device a little more because of the cold temperature, but don't be worried about that. So this has been my review of the BlackBerry uh, mini stereo speakers. Be sure to hit the like button, the subscribe button. It's right below the play pause button right there. It really helps the video out. Be sure to let me know what you guys think about this device. Do you think it's stable enough? Do you want one of these? Do you think it's, you know, 40 bucks was a good price tag for it? Let me know. Should they continue making these? Because they apparently they stopped making this accessory. And I think they should have made a black version to this. But hey, you know what? It's BlackBerry. Anyway. Anyways guys, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Bye.